update. So it feels like it's been about at least the fifth week of this quarantine. And I'm sitting here in D.C. Trying my best to stay uh, inside and whatnot. Um, and trying to fix my mind around what's going on with uh, the world and its finances by way of my uh, unemployment uh, my cycle uh, kind of ended and they didn't automatically give me the 13 weeks so somehow or another the system's got to figure out how it's going to work in the meantime I've been spent almost 40 hours this week uh, on terminal hold or whatnot trying to get through to figure out what I'm going to do for loop um, luckily I'm um, I've been blessed uh, due to uh, friends and family that's been able to look out for me a little bit that I'm not struggling, struggling, but, um, you know, I'm pocket poor right now with just the hope of this uh, stimulus coming and it's got me at a thought thing now where I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself how this whole stimulus mentality seems to be uh, um, growing and whatnot. You know? Um, in my market, in my market, uh, they're saying that we may not get back up and working until August, September ish. And already I've actually um, sat back and tried to figure out how I've actually made it these five weeks. We've got another two, three, four months, five months they're talking. And they're also talking about slowly allowing everyone else to drip back out there and see what's going to happen. And I don't think any of us has, have ever have, have ever really uh, thought about how it feels to actually live off of a Uh, government-wide minimum, you know? I work around people who make fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 in two, three months that are sitting back now trying to figure out what they're going to do once this little two, three hundred dollars and whatever stimulus comes trickling in now um, as they stay and wait until somebody blows the whistle and say, y'all can all come out and entertain and you know, the world and whatnot. This is my own little thought as I sit back and I think about the countless amounts of other people whom are not really even connected into that realm of life to where connected enough to understand just how deep it is for us because until people are allowed to actually come out and attend plays and concerts and stuff like that, rather indoor or outdoor, we can't do nothing. You know, uh, slowly but surely, um, you know, the essentials become uh, really interesting. I think uh, whenever we get to this political thing at the end of this year, a lot of people will be a little bit more thoughtful as to how they need to pick candidates locally and I mean down to dog catcher pick candidates locally we're living in a consciousness right now where um, these are the people in your neighborhood are also these are the people that are in your offices and whatnot and, and you know a lot of people have to live around people to understand what your constituents you know really mean and uh, maybe in the process of all of this, something else might good through it. But I just, I'm just at all and amazed how 
we as a country can sit down and do like minimally nothing when there are people in the world that, you know, wish that they could have the legacy or the luxury into which many of us struggle in, you know, uh, in a state where many of us that have been struggling all of our lives are not hurting as bad as some people that are out in, you know, the rest of the, the world in a state where they've been accustomed to, you know, two, three, four thousand dollar checks a week and whatnot. And now, what am I supposed to do with two hundred dollars a week? This thing is, is, is coming amongst them, too. And well, yeah, um, I just wish that uh, somehow or another there could be some kind of miracle in my direction. No, it sounds selfish. But, uh, you know, I got to really like nothing right now. And I know that, you know, by faith, everything will be taken care of at whatever time it's supposed to be taken care of. But right here, right now, you know, what, what, what I find myself contemplating more about is the ability to have access to human correspondence. I mean, like natured people, not just so much about sensual, uh, you know, uh, exchange or anything of that nature, but just the whole correspondence in itself. And I mean, this is not something, you know, like, you know, yeah, you can probably ease that with having a pet or something like that, but I'd rather my pet be human. Uh, and in the meantime, you know, there are moments and times that I find being totally alone is so peaceful. I mean, you know, so it's a, wow. You know, I've been in this dating scene for a nice little bit and I've been sitting here just wondering, how do you date at this state of life? Knowing that even the, the attempt of meeting someone is even more now complicated just because having to get out and risk, you know, whatever, you know, wow. You know, are you good? No, really, I, I really just want to, because if you are, um, and any of this makes sense to you, and you find uh, it helpful or just enlightening, uh, find my cash app or something and throw me something. Nothing says thank you like cash, but... You know, it's not like right now, DC unemployment can get me any. Oh, Jesus. The struggle continues. I'm good. You good?